Back and we need to put FNOQs on the table. Uh, Chandan Tapadia of Mutilal Oswal with us. Good morning, Chandan. Good morning. Uh, we have seen uh, positive momentum in the market and it managed to hold support of 11,850 and headed to us 11,950 zone. Price setup is positive and it seems that market is all set for the uh, new high territory of 12,040 or even higher levels in the June series. Similar kind of setup is visible in the bank nifty. We have seen 72% rollover in the Nifty and 83% in rollover in the Bank Nifty. So comparatively more positive on banking, finance and capital goods counter. Talking about the trading ideas, first trade is buy on Bajaj Finance. This stock has seen rollover of 92% with roll cost of 0.50%. The stock has already rallied by 13% in the last series and technically it is forming a breakout from its pollen flag pattern. So entire setup suggests further leg of rally in the counter. So recommending to buy with a stop loss of 34.30 and expecting it to head to a 36.30 kind of level. Second trade that is from the oil marketing company and declining the crude could support oil marketing companies as well. And especially the BPCL is managing well above its multiple hurdle of 400 zone and hovering near to its 12 months high levels. We have seen coal unwinding activity and fresh leg of up move led by short covering could be seen. So recommending to go long on BPCL with a stop loss of 399 and here we are expecting an up move towards 429 to 430 zone. One more trade that is in the option front. On last trading session, we have seen buying interest in HDFC Limited and HDFC Bank and somehow these stocks could support the market to head to higher territory. HDFC Limited is also forming a positive price pattern after the consolidation of last 4-5 trading session. Already we have seen the breakout and the small follow-up could lead to higher level. So here we are expecting further up move. One can trade with 20 to 20 coal, which is slightly out of the money, by near to 35 rupees, put a stop loss of 25 and here we are expecting an up move towards 54 to 56 rupees on the higher side. Okay, Chandan, thanks a lot for all those trading <coughs> ideas. Vikas Khimani is with us, founder of Carlinian Capital Advisors. Uh, Vikas, good morning. Uh, so, w w what's your thought uh, right now? Uh, we've had a big rally, almost a 10% rally on the bank Nifty. Uh, Nifty has also had about 8 9% rally, uh, despite weak global queues. Uh, uh, you reckon uh, uh, th 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 there's more to go on the upside? Hi, I think you know uh, there was a big uh, event uh, which was lined up. So that to that extent, the uncertainty is behind us, and I think the kind of mandate, the kind of uh, you know, the, you, know the, uh, you know direction which is there now, it's very very comforting. We are now confident that you know at least government front things will be you know, fairly uh, nice. And as you're right that uh, we need to at this point in time, while there's a huge amount of euphoria, directionally everything looks very good. I remain very, very positive from medium term to long term perspective. But from a short term perspective, I think we have to keep in mind some of the risks which are there. One is obviously from the global side. Secondly, also, you know, on the monsoon front, uh, both are, you know, reasonably good, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, risk factors. So I would say that rather than becoming very euphoric, one should take a practical view and slowly uh, look to build exposure. I still feel that, you know, the government will come out with the good measures in terms of reviving the economy in, in you know, run up to the budget or during the budget and that could be another trigger or catalyst for the local market. But once that is there, uh, you know, global clues or and monsoon will start playing out because, uh, you know, whatever they come out with the budget, it takes time for, you know, it to percolate down the ground level and result into earnings, which I think is still my opinion probably two quarters away. Oh, okay. That's a little cautious. <coughs> Good morning, Vikas. So, what do you do with the Nifty at 12,000 and the mid-cap index, maybe about 10% shy of its all-time <coughs> highs? Are you looking for value in mid-caps? No, of course, there is a, there is a value. I think, you know, uh, in lots of mid-caps, we had huge amount of correction. Many mid-caps were down to 50, 60% or even more. Uh, and in the same period, the <coughs> businesses have progressed well. So, you know, there is, there is a value, there is an opportunity. Uh, all I am just saying is that one has to do bottom of stock picking, one has to be conscious of the short term risk which might be there. But uh, from medium term to long term perspective, uh, there is definitely good money to be made uh, across caps rather I would say. Even in large caps, there are plenty of opportunities. So it is not about cap. I think there are segments you will start seeing earning growth picking up. Uh, you know, some of the segments took a knock on the earning after the ILFS crisis. That also in next three to six months should settle down and that also pick up. So in my view, we will start seeing some sort of broad basing of earnings growth uh, in you know two to three quarters down the line, which currently is restricted to only a very small uh, okay. segment of the market. 
Okay. Vikas, hi. Good morning. In just, you know, the next few hours, we'll get to know who the finance minister of this country will be. And speculation is rife that it could be Amit Shah. Now, there is also this feeling that, you know, he does have an acute understanding of the markets. He could be more hands-on with the ministry, etc. How should a market, um, uh, you know, uh, an, an industry watcher view this? Would you put more money to work in the bank, Nifty, or in some of the large cap banking names now? So I think it is nothing, I mean, while if Mr. Amit Shah comes, he's a great leader, uh, you know, with a great understanding of economy and finances, uh, there's no doubt on that, his previous track record uh, shows that uh, when he was in Gujarat as well. Uh, but I think, you know, more importantly, it's not about a particular finance minister. I think banking and financial service segment will lead this rally. There's no doubt about it. You know, I mean, there are a couple of factors you can't ignore. I mean, Mr. X or Mr. Y being finance minister, I'm assuming it's a government policy. It is not a person's policy. I mean, interest rates are going to come down. Credit is going to, credit offtake is going to pick up. There's a huge amount of you know, unmet demand at this point in time. So you know, and financialization is uh, you know sort of uh, almost undergoing a good amount of waves. So I think if you see all these factors put together, you know, any which way financial uh, BFSI space is uh, likely to do very well. Uh, you know, one can make these kind of short-term tactical calls of going long and short. That I am not good at. But structurally, this segment to me looks very very well placed from a wealth creation perspective in this whole basket. Uh, you know, there's a very good shot of making 20% plus return over next, you know, five year kind of thing. So it's a compounding basket in my opinion. Will you? Okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, because uh, uh, just to extend that argument, uh, uh, we have a big rally in some of the domestic stocks like, uh, you know, DLF, real estate has done well uh, all through this, this month. Cement has started to make a move again. Uh, any thoughts here? Any, any picks here? So you ask about the real estate? Or real estate and cement. Any any picks here? Okay. No, I think uh, real estate as a sector for sure. I think in my opinion is coming out of and would come out uh, from from a long uh, painful period for two reasons. One, I think you know the aftermath of RERA implementation slowly getting over, and also uh, the government is reasonably resolved. Uh, even if you take clue from the last budget and also whatever is uh, you know one one is uh, getting from the interaction with the within the sources of the government that government wants to revive this sector because it is linked to the real economy and the job creation so government is likely to come out with a lot of measures to revive this and it's anyway uh, you know, coming out of a long cycle so we are quite positive this in segment obviously one has to look at the right you know names before investing companies which are well placed from the balance sheet perspective and who has ability to deliver uh, you know uh, who has executed large uh, uh, projects and delivered those kind of companies and uh, leaders would do well in this segment uh, rather than anybody so i think mm. in the, in that sense the sector is consolidating and larger company will continue to become larger and, and you will see many multi baggers coming out of this space uh, so we remain quite uh, positive uh, on this space uh, cement uh, definitely the capacity utilization is picking up uh, but if you look at some of the larger names, they 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 are looking very very expensive. So I think in the mid cap cement space, definitely there is a there is a you know a, a good opportunity out there where the, the, you know as as and when the you know, the volume starts picking up, the pricing are reasonably firming up. So you could see a good delta coming up there. Okay, uh, uh, Vikas, would you go for the Adani group of stocks? Any of them? You know, before the election, uh, they had uh, outbid everybody for four or five airports. I think five airports. Uh, but I guess uh, the orders were not given because it was very close to the model code of conduct. Uh, is that something you should look at? Because there are not so many companies that are now even able to construct given their balance sheets. No, see, I mean, I would rather you know look at companies specific than a group specific. But within a group, also there are lots of. Uh, you know, good and bad companies. Mm. So you know, I mean, we definitely like uh, the ports play because that's a that's a good uh, you know innovative kind of play with a lot of long term growth potential and not trading reasonably well. So I think you know we will specifically go company after company rather than looking at a group specific. But definitely that group is looking to expand and uh, uh, reasonably well placed as compared to many other groups in the country. So to that extent, I think well capitalized larger groups will start. In my opinion, in this phase they will come out very well because the weaker balance sheet guy, uh, you know, a balance sheet will not be able to invest or expand, and consolidation would be in favor of larger and stronger groups. 
Okay, Vikas, we would have loved to chat some more, but I'm afraid we've completely run out of time. Thank you for your thoughts and you have a good weekend. We'll try and touch base with you once again in um, a couple of days from now.